What's good guys, it is Trav here from Neighbourhood and welcome back to our July HubSpot update. We've got a bunch of exciting updates for you this month as HubSpot continues to elevate its platform to improve how you find, sell and keep your people all the way through 2023. So kicking things up in this public beta is meeting rotations, including with the CRM scheduling. Users can now have the ability to book meetings on behalf of others through what's called round robin rotation from the contact, company, deal, or ticket records in HubSpot. Sales Hub Pro users will have access to this feature, making it a game changer for salespeople who previously have used external tools or scheduling pages to keep track of who was next in the line for meetings. Next up are two fresh updates in these sequences reporting. First up is step level analytics, where users can now report on each step of the sequence to better understand how reps are executing the steps and their conversion success with meetings booked. The second sequence reporting improvement is meeting rate reporting, which updates the logic used to associate meetings booked to more accurately represent the meetings influenced by a sequence. Next cab off the rank is a nifty release for content assistant for the conversation inbox composers across all channels. Significantly cutting down manual labor for inbox users, this tool will support agents in generating responses quickly through any channel in the inbox, automating tedious tasks when answering incoming inquiries. Continuing on with HubSpot's innovative content assistant, you can also use this tool to generate SEO friendly titles and meta descriptions for blogs, websites, and landing pages with a click of a button. AI Content Assistance has made a clean sweep in recent updates, with it being introduced to HubSpot social features, such as sales email generation, as well as rewrite, shorten, and expand the copy. New in HubSpot is the ability for users to enable JavaScript building box via the design manager settings, available for CMS starter, pro, and enterprise portals. So what are JavaScript building blocks? These are new modules, portals, and islands that can be written in React and JavaScript instead of HubL. These JavaScript modules and portals can be directly referenced through the HubL tags in your templates. Next up is another push for privacy in the world of cookies. GPC or Global Privacy Control is a signal that informs website of visitors' preferences in regards to selling or sharing personal data. Users can now use HubSpots to process GPC signals from your website visitors, which prevents cookie tracking without requiring visitors to decline a cookie banner. New in public beta is the ability for Microsoft Teams integrated users to now create HubSpot tasks and tickets with associating them to HubSpot records effortlessly while in Microsoft Teams. Rather than bouncing between two systems to create tasks or tickets, teammates can now quickly turn conversations into actionable tasks immediately. Nice. Now, if you enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Jumping into what's live and kicking inside HubSpot right now, a well-awaited update for DataSync has now just been rolled out. DataSync now powers over 100 unique integrations in the marketplace and does so across multiple objects. This update includes field mapping of custom dropdowns and multi-select fields, becoming mappable in a two-way configuration. Next up is another heavily anticipated feature being coaching playlists. This is a new feature that enables users to save call recordings to playlists, making it easier to onboard and upskill reps at scale. This allows reps to share specific playlists to teams or users based on what they're trying to coach. New and live, users can now copy an action from one workflow and paste it into another within your portal, saving you time when building your automations. This will now be accessible for all customers to drive efficiencies when developing complex workflows, scrapping the need to clone and configure them over and over again. Thank you, HubSpot. Another cab off the rank, Activities inside HubSpot will now be visible as their own group within the data model overview. Customers can now see key information about each activity as well as how activities relate to the CRM objects or custom objects. Next in the mix is a new functionality for quote customers, allowing users to manually change the status of a quote to signed. This supports both accurate reporting as well as filtering. As always with HubSpot, it's about keeping accessible information clean in an easy to find spot. And that's why HubSpot's latest subscription index page is an absolute game changer. Previously, subscriptions could only be found in HubSpot via the associated records, making them difficult to navigate to quickly without having the right context. Now, you can access all of the subscription all in one place. An exciting new feature just launched in the spam submissions tool for forms. This feature automatically captures incoming form submissions that contain URLs in the name fields as spam and lists them as spam submissions in the area for users to review and take action. New to live features, users will be able to see data from HubSpot payments checkout page in Google Analytics. 
This helps you drive results by better understanding your buyer's engagement and conversation. All customers with Google Analytics who are using HubSpot payments will get this additional data from the checkout page by default. Just a reminder, this is only for America. Next up, Playbook editors can now choose what type of engagement is logged once a playbook is completed. Additionally, they've added a new option that allows users to update linked CRM properties without logging an engagement. New in the live realm is the ability for users and teams to now create custom workflow views to set up folders within folders, making it easy to organize, find, and manage your workflows. Customers can now filter and group workflows or create a folder hierarchy that matches their automation strategy. Upping the ante for a secure CRM experience, HubSpot has rolled out security score notifications that alert admins when actionable recommendations are waiting in their security center. Before, admins were only driven to the security center either by discovering it for themselves or reading knowledge base articles. This feature helps admins locate and understand how they can fortify their own account. Wrapping up this month's HubSpot update, Marketing email analytics have been introduced into the Custom Report Builder. Marketing email analytics is a new data source in the Custom Report Builder, which grants users access to key email performance metrics, such as open rate and click-through rate, alongside the full power of the CRM reporting. And that is a wrap for our July HubSpot update. I hope you've enjoyed these updates as, and as excited as we are here at Neighborhood to test all of these out ourselves. Now, if you wanna learn more about HubSpot, please check out our online training by signing up for a free trial today. With this do-it-yourself onboarding package, you and your team can learn at your own pace with hours of Hub by Hub training. Or if you think that you might need a bit of a help in understanding what you need to be doing to get the most out of HubSpot, sign up for our free portal audit below. Both of the links are in the description below. Well, that's it from me, guys. Have a fantastic July and happy HubSpotting.